Yo guys, welcome back to another video where I'm going to be showing you how to increase your uploading speed to YouTube and that's going to be using Handbrake to decrease the file size but still keep a high quality video. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this and so without further ado, let's get started. So here I have Handbrake. If you want to download it and install it, the links for that will be in the description. And here we have Handbrake. It'll open like this. I usually just click cancel and I have a file over here. I'll right click and show you the size of it. It is 683 megabytes, so it's not that large, but it, it would still take a little bit of time because our internet speed here is very slow. And I typically handbrake some of my videos so that they will upload a little bit faster. Now if we go into the details here, we can see it's 1920 by 1080, so that's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And pretty much what handbrake is going to do is it's going to take this bitrate and it's just going to decrease it but that's still going to keep some of the original quality it's not going to look too bad and youtube when it goes through youtube it gets compressed through youtube servers so it even looks a little bit worse when it comes out and so this doesn't really do much because youtube is already going to take some of that quality down when it goes through their servers now when you use handbrake what you want to do is usually i just typically drag my file right in and it's an mp4 so just something like that and the first thing you're going to come up with is the file size right here now if you wanted to change this to like 720 so that'd be uh, 1280 by 720 you can decrease the size but i'm not going to do that 1920 by 1080 and then you can also crop filters i never really mess with but the tab that you want to worry about the most is the video right here now you have the frame rate which if it's in 60 FPS, which mine was, I want to change that back to 60 so I keep that nice smooth frame rate instead of having it down at 30. But if you want it at 30, that will also decrease the file size. Now here is the little magic that I like to use right here. And it is the quality. Now if you take it way down, it'll make it like horrible, but it'll be really low quality and a really small file size. Now if you put it way up, it's gonna look, make your video look weird because it's gonna try to get really sharp and high quality and so that doesn't really work. It usually starts about 22 and I bump it back to 24 or 25. It usually takes a little bit off. So I'm gonna bump it back to 25 there. And then usually also in the audio, it wants to take it down pretty far. So what I like to do is I like to keep it at 192 and that's for stereo just like that and that's pretty much what I leave it so it doesn't sound as bad because certain audio effects like people will sound in low quality and then subtitles never really or chapters never really touch any of that and so that's pretty much it then you want to click your destination of where you want to save it I'll just save it to that drive I'll name it example you can add it to your queue but because this is only one of them I'm just gonna hit start recording and then uh yeah we'll see check the file sizes once they're done and compare them so all i have to do is just click start encoding and your cpu will go to 100 percent and i'm going to stop recording so there it just completed that was about a 9 minute and 40 second clip and it took about just under 12 minutes to complete and so there we go that's pretty much done let me see if i can find it here so here is the new one 195 megabytes and the old one is a 683 megabytes now if we take a look at the details here you can clearly see that this is 2000 and that is 10,000 so that's pretty much what it did is it brought the bitrate the whole way down to 183 now if we take a closer look at the samples of the exported let us take a look so here is the video that I just did. Actually, this is the original one, and you can tell from the detail here, if you take a closer look at some of the letters on this hard drive, underside of this hard drive, and some of the little details. And if we take a look at the one that I put through Handbrake, here we go. It's a little bit fuzzier around some of the edges, like this area right in here is a li little bit more pixelated or a little bit more blurry. And so that's pretty much what it did is it took a little bit of the sharpness and the detail out of it, but not too much. And that's pretty much it. You can use this to decrease your file size pretty quickly. 
instead of putting it into Premiere Pro and exporting it to another bitrate or something like that. Handbrake is free to use and the, like I said, the links will be in the description so you can get that there. And so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this worked for you. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And with that being said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.